Hi, I'm Jimmy Miller. I'm the Delta B SIS Business Development Manager. We're here today in the Integrated Operations Center in Austin, Texas. I'm going to talk to you today about asset health, we the safety instrument system. You know, how important are those assets in your facility? Assets can be everything from logic solvers, transmitters, switches, valves, and motors out in the field. We want to know how sure you are that those assets are safe and those assets are healthy, right? So there's lots of ways you can do that. Normally people will buy things like a smart transmitter or maybe even a smart digital valve controller. And what smart means is those things come with diagnostics. Uh, they come with smart communication protocols like heart protocol. Many people design their systems around using smart instrumentation, but most of the time they install it, they calibrate it, and they use a handheld device to commission it, and that's the last time they use that heart data. One really unique thing with Delta VSIS with electronic marshalling is we use that heart data to, to monitor your asset health in the field. So we go out there and we look at your transmitters, we look at your valves, and we look at your whole entire safety loop and tell you how safe are you right now in this moment in time. In many traditional safety systems, if it sees an error on a device, you see bad status, it's going to trip your safety function, and that's not what we want to do because your safety function is important, but your process availability is very important as well. So what Delta VSIS does, it goes out and monitors those devices out there, and in the event that it sees bad status on a device, it'll give you system health warnings and go out, let you go out and take care of it, but not necessarily trip your safety function. So to demonstrate that, we're going to take a transmitter I have here, a safety transmitter, and we're going to inject a fault. Then we'll bring you over and take a look at what our asset management system tells you. Right? So I've injected a fault now, so let's go take a look at our asset management system and see what kind of device alerts came up. So here we are in our alarm banner window, we see that we actually have a device alert. So we click on that and that pulls up the faceplate. Then you're able to drill down into that device and actually go look at the asset device information. And right now it says that I have one sensor that's shorted in my transmitter. The great thing about this is in a safety system, you want to keep your process available as often as possible, right? Process availability is very important. So it's Delta VSIS with electronic marshalling gives you two options. When you have a bad status on an input device, you can either trip your facility or you can keep running and go out there and, uh, and replace that device. There's a, a part of the safety system called the mean time to repair. Uh, whenever you develop your safety requirement specification, you, def you determine how long you can go in between repairs for bad devices like this. So let's say that we've set the mean time to repair for eight hours. That means we have eight hours to go out there and fix this device in the field before we actually have to trip the system. We can also set the system up so if it sees the bad status on the device to go ahead and trip. Most of the time, again, process availability is important, so we don't want to do that. So now we see the, the transmitter has been repaired, we have no active alerts, and our safety system never tripped. Asset health is very, very important, and, one, and that's the unique thing about us is we monitor that continuously. If you'd like to know more about it, please visit us at www.deltavsis.com or contact your local Emerson Safety Sales representative. Thanks very much and have a great day.